Eight years ago, things were far from perfect at Mount Vernon High School in Skagit County. Morale among teachers and staff was low. Academic performance was not where it should be. Even the buildings were run down. Things needed to change. And as Ethan Morris tells us right now, change came in the form of an energetic new principal. Think back to when you were in high school. What do you mean, no? How often did you see something like this? Oh, yeah. That's not a teacher hula hooping it up with students at Mount Vernon High School. It's the principal, Dave Anderson. Spencer, you're going to lose it. Spencer's out. Really <laughs> <laughs> we are so fortunate to have Dave Anderson as a principal. I think he's he's one in a million. It all starts with attitude. I gotta get to work, gotta get to work, gotta get to work. Uh, I love it. Is this your guys' normal table? Yes. Pretty impressive, considering that when he first arrived at Mount Vernon High School eight years ago, Dave Anderson was facing a big challenge. The school had gone through four principals in ten Good. years. Thanks, Jacob. There was a lot of frustration. When I first came here, the first thing I wanted to do was um, make Mount Vernon High School a place where our students, staff, and community will all be proud of Mount Vernon High School. And that meant increasing the rigor. Working with teachers and staff. Any issues? I'm not hearing no. anything. Dave slowly began implementing new programs to challenge students. Are your grades all good? Starting with more advanced placement classes. Once only open to gifted students, Mount Vernon High started AP classes for any student if they'd make a commitment to do the work. But now we have 12 or 13 AP classes here at Mount Vernon High School, uh, and when he arrived we had one. I think that's a great example of his, his vision and his patience and his ability to make things happen. Another big accomplishment, implementing the AVID program, advancement via individual determination, helping kids who are traditionally less likely to go to college. Show me that on the piece of paper. Right here to go after a higher education. Julie Wilson runs the program. And it's all because of, of Dave and all the support that he gives to the teachers and uh, the staff and the students too. All the effort is translating into higher test scores. Wassel reading scores are up 30% at Mount Vernon, writing is up 31%, math up 20%. But everyone agrees one of the best things about Mr. Anderson is his interaction with students. I got to And you think that was cool? Whether he's covering for a teacher, seven times two, okay, working with Good. special needs right. students, yeah. thank you, or just dropping in on a music class. So what song are we gonna play? That's why we're here. That's the relationships with the students. Uh, they won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So what's next for Principal Dave Anderson and Mount Vernon High? Every day is what's next. It's just making us a better place and bringing more students along. Thanks, guys because we just want to be better all the time. That's the best way I can say it. Thank you. Each day when I get up, my wife and my kids would say to me, uh, Davey, go to school and play nice with the kids and the staff. So each day, that's sort of been the attitude. Go play nice with the kids, with the staff, and have a good time while you're doing that. Been real fortunate. I've learned a couple things along my journey in education. Two very important rules that sort of help me as I traverse the, the uh, landscape. Number one is that without a supportive family, the job is nearly impossible to do. So I'm appreciative to my family and to my beautiful wife for all those evenings that I'm gone. The other thing that I learned is that you have to have an incredible secretary who takes care of you. Um, <clears throat> when I'm at home, I try to make my wife feel as if she's the most important person. When I'm at school, I try to make the secretary feel as if she's the most important person. Unfortunately, they do talk at times. <clears throat> uh, on behalf of Mount Vernon High School, on behalf of the community, um, I thank you, it's with great pride I accept the award. This is not my award, it is the award of our students, our staff, and our community, and I couldn't be more fortunate. At the end of every newsletter, I end up with one thing, it's great to be a bulldog. Well, this bulldog's very proud to stand here as a representative of our community. Thank you. Thank you.